Monday. It is December 14th today and just got home from the gym and now I am going to grab something to eat really quickly and uh, the Beau and I are going out to do a little bit of Christmas shopping. I need to get something for my boss. I have like an idea planned out in my head but now I just need to execute it. When I went into the office this morning there was this little Sephora bag on my desk. Um, it is an early Christmas gift from my boss. He knows me so well he got me a Sephora gift card. Um, I don't plan on using it anytime soon just because I don't have anything that I really really want or need right now but it's always nice to have um, a little Sephora gift card in your arsenal. I had a pretty good day at work today. The weather is really crappy right now. It is pouring rain and uh, not really putting me in a Christmassy mood. I kind of wish it was snowing. Uh, apparently it's supposed to rain on Christmas day too. Hopefully there's a little bit of snow. We just got back from the Lipo, AKA LCBO. And uh, I wanted to go there to pick up um, my gift for my boss. So essentially I got him 12 different kinds of beer, just like the singles and uh, from different places. So kind of beer from around the world. So these are the ones that we picked out. So Tank House Ale from Mill Street Brewery, which is Canadian. This one is um, Red Stripe, which is Jamaican. Um, we have 1664 Cronenberg. I don't drink beer, so I actually have no idea what any of these are, mean, taste like. So this one is um, France. We have Carlsberg, which is Copenhagen. Uh, this is Asahi, Japan. Um, then we have Bex, which is Denmark, I think. Oh, I lied. Bex is from Germany. Um, one lone Guinness, because this is actually um, my boss's favorite. Guinness is brewed in Ireland, by the way. Then we have uh, Pilsner Urkel. <laughs> I don't know if that's right. Uh, brewed in the Czech Republic. Peroni, which is Italian, I believe. Yeah. This is Singa, which is Thailand. How do you pronounce this one? Singdao. Qingdao. From China. Mm -hmm. And Samuel Adams, uh, which is an American brewery. So I have all of the beers. I was thinking of maybe putting like beer nuts in there. Um, I just need, still need to find a box to put it all in and uh, I'm not sure whether I'm going to individually wrap them or not, um, but I'm going to I'll put them in one big box. I also thought it'd be really fun to put a map in there of basically all the different kinds of beer in the world. So I printed this off. I just found the image on Google and I printed it off on some cardstock and uh, it's just the map of the world, but in beer. <laughs> Hello and happy Tuesday. I just got home from the gym. What else is new? I am just making myself dinner very quickly and uh, then I'm probably going to go to bed early tonight because I have to go to work early tomorrow. I'm home alone tonight because the Bo is in Cambridge for a think tank thing. He left this morning and he's not coming back till tomorrow. And uh, I gotta say, it's pretty creepy being home alone. <laughs> it's so rare that I'm home alone, and uh, I don't think I like it. <laughs> anyway, I went to the dollar store before I came home tonight because this Friday is my work potluck. So I had to pick up a couple more things for my hot chocolate drink bar. I still have a couple more things to pick up. Um, but I'm slowly getting there. I also picked up a festive like holiday tray because the beau has um, like a cookie exchange thing on Thursday and uh, he has coerced me into making something for him to submit to his cookie exchange. They're not actually cookies though. They are, I think they're called Nutella Cheesecake Squares, um, but they look really good. I've never made them before, so who knows how they'll turn out, but we bought all the ingredients for it on the weekend. So I plan on making those tomorrow tomorrow night. So this is the tray that I picked up to put the squares in. It is just kind of a, an aluminum tray. This is what I picked up for my hot chocolate drink bar. 
Um, these are plastic spoons. I would have preferred a gold version, but they didn't have it, so I just went with silver. I'm just going to stick these um, into these bowls, actually, which I'm going to fill with the accoutrements. So sprinkles and marshmallows and um, chocolate chips. And then this is just a basket that I'm actually going to put the cake cups in. Hello, happy Wednesday. It is Wednesday, December 16th. And I went to work early this morning. And in turn, I get to leave work early. So I'm going to leave right now. Um, I have some errands I need to do again for my potluck thing that I'm doing um, this Friday for work. And also for the Bose like Christmas cookie exchange that he's doing tomorrow. I'm currently at Party City right now because I'm looking for like festive insulated uh, cups to put the hot chocolate in. Okay, I found the aisle where they have all of the different kind of paper cups and plates and everything. I'm just trying to decide what color to get. They don't have any Christmas themed ones, so I'm thinking maybe red? Or should I go like neutral? Like. I don't know, white. Just got home, the and I did some errands and also picked up some dinner. I'm going to eat before I make those um, Nutella swirl cheesecake bars. But I want to show you quickly what I, the rest of the things that I got for my um, hot chocolate drink bar on Friday. So these are the accoutrements that I picked up. I also got some whipped cream, um, but this is Chip It's. So these are the score, um, these are semi-sweet chocolate, and then white chocolate. I also got these um, sprinkles, and then also chocolate sprinkles. I got more of these bowls um, because I will essentially have six accoutrements. So these three, those sprinkles, and then marshmallows. So I got three more. I also got these plastic tongs from the dollar store for the marshmallows, and maybe for the chippets, I'm not sure. And then I picked up at Party City um, some insulated cups. We have insulated cups at work, but they are probably exactly only eight to nine ounces. And I wanted to pick up big ones, so in case you put whipped cream in it or something, there's like enough room for the accoutrements. And then I also picked up this um, snow fluff, which I'm going to use to decorate my hot chocolate drink bar. And last but not least, I picked up some red and white straws. I almost forgot to show you guys the process of making those Nutella swirl cheesecake bars. So I got the recipe off of a YouTube video actually, and um, I printed it off, and that's what we are going to make tonight. So um, the ingredients include Pillsbury ready to bake chocolate chip cookies, um, cream cheese, two packages, half a cup of sugar, one teaspoon of vanilla, two eggs, and a third of a cup of Nutella hazelnut spread with cocoa. of making those Nutella swirl cheesecake bars. We have um, baked the Pillsbury cookie, uh, chocolate chip cookies, which will be essentially serve as a base for the squares. And uh, as you can see, we have whipped the cream cheese concoction up. It was much harder than I anticipated. So right now I'm just waiting for the cookies to cool down. And while I do that, I am going to enjoy some hot chocolate and watch uh, Michelle Fon's latest video. And happy Thursday. I am ready for work early again today because 
I have to be at work early and also I'm going to cut um, the bows Nutella squirrel squirrel Nutella squirrel cheesecake bars before I head to work so they turned out pretty good I haven't tried them yet they've been cooling in um, the fridge all night but this is what they look like so they look pretty good um, hopefully they cut easily okay I forgot how much of a bitch cheesecake is to cut so they're not the prettiest squares but I did do a little bit of a taste test um, and it was it's pretty good so I just put some saran wrap over it because um, we're gonna stick it back in the fridge and I'm gonna remind the bow to actually bring it to work but um, yeah this is how they turned out um, I think I, I cut out 30 ish squares happy Thursday night I did a quick clip earlier this morning but I don't remember what I was talking about I think I was talking about the cheesecake squares but it was pretty early in the morning so who knows what I was talking about but I'm home from work and I'm home before the bow which rarely happens so I think I will whip up something for us to eat uh, probably leftovers so nothing super exciting um, but I don't really feel like cooking Tomorrow is the day. It is my work potluck. I have spent pretty much a little bit every day this week prepping for the potluck. So picking up things like the accoutrements and then picking up stuff that I'm going to put those in and utensils and decorations and all of that fun stuff. Anyway, so I, today was my last trip to the dollar store and also bulk barn and I picked up the last few things that I needed. So along with the uh, glass bowls that I picked up from the dollar store, I am going to also utilize these. These are um, items I already owned. So these are just some glass vases and then these two are plastic containers that I got from Target uh, when we still had it in Canada. And I also picked up these which are essentially um, wafers and they did have the plain ones I looked everywhere and they don't have just regular wafer rolls so these ones are um, ones with chocolate in them and then I also picked up some candy canes So this is how I'm going to display the candy cane. So I just stuck them in the vase like this. I'm actually so excited to see everything come together. Um, I just put so much like time and effort into planning it and buying everything I want to display. And I'm just so excited to like put it all together. I have a sneaking suspicion that, I don't know, maybe not everyone likes hot chocolate. So out of like the 25-ish people that are going to go there, only a handful of them will actually enjoy my hot chocolate bar. But I don't care because I love hot chocolate. Good morning and happy Friday. I am still listening to Christmas music if you can hear that in the background. Um, but today is the day of my work potluck and I'm very excited for it. <laughs> I'm actually just really excited for my hot chocolate bar. I don't want to hype it up too much, but it's gonna be awesome <laughs> What I'm wearing today is a Zara dress that I picked up during the Black Friday sale and then my faux fur vest from Echo And I'm just gonna wear boots. I think it's supposed to be kind of cool today I also made a pasta dish um, so that it's not all desserts at the potluck and it's just really simple It's pasta with a red sauce and cheese Hello, I just got into work. I'm already eating a candy cane. It's a bit too early, but I couldn't resist. Um, but I'm gonna go downstairs. That's where we're having our potluck and set up my hot chocolate bar. just had our potluck and I would say overall it was a huge success and also my hot chocolate bar was a huge success so I bought a pack of 24 hot chocolate k-cups and there is I think like four or five left I was a little bit worried that I wouldn't have enough because I think four more people showed up than I anticipated but I just stuck with my general rule when it comes to potlucks and it is that you don't make enough for the actual amount of guests there because more often than not, not everyone will like eat your dish or your dessert or something. And if you make one anticipating that everyone's going to have some, um, 
you'll be left with like tons and tons left so in my case there is a lot of stuff left um like all of the accoutrements and things like that but that's okay i'm gonna bring them home and um save them for later maybe have a little hot chocolate um party at my house um but i'm going to end the vlog here because i have a very busy afternoon um but i will see you guys in my next vlog which will likely contain um some wedding dress shopping because i am going to a dress wedding this weekend but until then thank you guys so much for watching and happy holidays